Hello and welcome to Bits Box World Builds Made Easy. I've just been wondering what projects you might be doing. At the moment I'm getting ready for an old world match that I'm going to be using my high elves with and uh, I've got this griffin that I've pulled out of one of my boxes and it just needs to be prepared and put together. So what I've previously done, I've cleaned it up, taken off all the flash and I just need to glue it together and do a bit of green stuff on it to make sure that it's all nicely fitting together. So these griffins are really cool. They came in the Isle of Blood box set and um, they come in five pieces. They just need to be put together. But the, the design of them is really, really nice. I like it how they look like they're sweeping down ready to attack the enemy. But um, you've want to just glue them together to uh, make sure that they all stick to, together so I'm using a bit of plastic glue here and um, I'm just going to put this griffin together and whilst I'm doing that I was just looking over the rules for griffins in the old world and it really caught my eye just the description of them it's really cool so I'm going to share that with you cue some epic music The griffins of the Anuli Mountains are creatures of noble bearing and keen intelligence. Such is the griffin's wild appearance that a stranger to Ulthan might deem it merely another savage beast of the mountains. Yet, all elves know the griffins are seldom given to cruelty, at least so long as no harm is offered to those they think of as kin. For an elf to have any hope of mastering a griffin, the beast must be captured and trained while still young, forging a bond that only death can shatter. Griffins are particularly favoured by those who fight in the thick of the fray, and many a battle has been won by the descent of a shrieking griffin into the heart of the enemy army. So, least to say, I think griffins are pretty good, and um. I'm trying to get this one into my 500 point old world army. You can have characters up to 50% of your army and uh, with these griffins they cost 130 points and the noble that will be riding it costs 70 points. So you're looking at 200 as a starting point and then all the equipment on top. I'm going to be getting this guy in at the sacrifice of maybe a bit of uh, magic. It might be a bit of a, a strange tactic. It might be a bit of a risky tactic. But uh, I just really like the models. And I'm out there to have a bit of fun with this new iteration of Old World and the Warhammer Fantasy World. So he's glued together now. All put together and ready to just assess to see if there's any gappage that might need a bit of green stuff. So green stuff, if you haven't used it before, it's a sort of modeling uh, tool that you can use to push into any of the gaps that might happen between some of the model joinage. And the two colors, uh, when they're combined, when they're mixed together, they sort of form this really um, pliable substance that you can use to fill in any of your gaps and it's really good for just doing some of the the detail on those models to fill those gaps but then also be able to craft and manipulate this so it makes the the design of what you are trying to make so whether you're trying to do feathers 
or a bit of armor or something like that this stuff is great because it gives you flexibility to create additional bits to your models as well as filling in those gaps so you just mix it together what I do is I just roll it in my hands and pull it and fold it and the two colors start to just mix together and that becomes what is commonly known as green stuff and as you mix it as well it becomes more flexible and more gum like or putty like and something to be aware of is if you use more of the blue or more of the yellow you will have either a stiffer or a more flexible end result so there we go, I've got this sort of stretchy, plasticky, almost gum-like material um, that gets left over and that's what we're going to be using. I've got this modelling tool as well, uh, it's got a couple of edges that just help you to just do your crafting when manipulating the screen stuff. Under the wings I've noticed that there's a bit of gappage here. So I'm gonna fill that gap in, and then I'm going to try and make it look like, and blend it in that it's just more feathers under the wings, and blend that into the body. So what I want to do is I'll start off by rolling it out as a nice thin worm of green stuff, and then just pushing it to start off with into the gaps. And then any extra that I'm not going to be using, I'm just going to cut off once I've covered all of the area of gap and just put that to one side. And then you want to make sure that it's all pushed in nice and secure into the gap. And then you can start actually manipulating it with your tool, so making it crafted into the design that you want it to look like so i'm just doing just a really rough quick shapeage on into sort of feathers under the wing and i've got two wings to do so same again on the other side and then you can press it in if you need to with your modeling tool and then just again making it look a bit like the feathers around so it's all nice and blended in so when you spray it white or, or do your base coat it's just consistent with the rest of the the mold of the model so as I'm preparing this guy for my old world army what have you been doing with your old models let me know in the comment below if you've been breaking them out for a game of the old world or are you still wanting to play the old fantasy rules and green stuff is so good and versatile for making those repairs on your models or anything like that and there you go finally done got my completed model i just need to wait for that to set it takes about 24 hours for that green stuff to set and then i can spray it white and then he'll be ready to start painting for my army. I've got these eagles just as a demonstration of what you can do. This eagle I had to repair the wing because it was completely snapped in half and I've used green stuff to sort of continue the feather formation of the wing and try and mold it in, also filling in some of those gaps of these old metal eagles. And green stuff is really good for doing that job, so your models aren't really gappy when you come to paint them. So there we are, my models are one step closer to joining my army for the old worlds. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching Bits Bots World, builds made easy.